guys, it's Angie. I thought maybe you might want to practice yoga again. So today, I thought it would be kind of fun to just make believe. Do you like to play make believe? I know I do. So I thought maybe we could make believe some things while we practice our yoga. So come on with me. Either find a mat, or if you don't have a mat, that's okay. You can use a towel, or you can just be on the carpet or on the floor. Come on with me and practice yoga. So come to a place where you can just sit in a comfortable way. Maybe you're sitting on top of your legs. Maybe you have your legs crossed in crisscross applesauce. Whichever is more fun for you. First, I thought we would exercise our arms. And maybe we could pretend that we're painting big, beautiful rainbows. So we're just moving the arms back and forth. Do you know the colors of the rainbows? There's red and orange and yellow and green and blue and then purple. Which color is your favorite? Wouldn't it be fun to make a rainbow in the sky? Maybe a big rainbow. Maybe a long rainbow. Have you ever seen a rainbow? Look for one the next time after it rains. And now maybe we can move our arms from side to side. Maybe we can pretend like we're the wind just blowing all around from side to side. Now, let's go to our hands and feet. Go ahead and settle your hands right underneath your shoulders and your knees right underneath your hips. Can you wag your bottom just like a dog wags his tail? Did you ever think that maybe when a dog is wagging his tail, maybe it's like when we wave. When we pretend to be a little puppy and just wagging our tail, we're actually stretching the sides of our tummy and moving our hips around. So this is great for our body. Now, can you pick up one foot and put it on the mat? And then the other, the same way. Now, what do you think we could pretend like we are now? How about a spider? Do you know that a spider has eight legs? Can you imagine having eight legs? You could crawl everywhere with all those legs just crawling all around, bending through your knees. Aren't you glad spiders don't have to buy shoes? Nice. Now, lengthen your legs. Make your legs really long. And then, Bring your arms out to the side. Can you flap your arms like a big bird? Maybe we're an eagle flapping his arms big and wide, flying all around. Wouldn't that be fun? This is great, because just like the bird in his wings, we're strengthening and stretching our arms. And then if we bring those arms up 
towards the sky, the big tall stretch, just like we're firemen or firewomen climbing the ladder. Can you pretend like you're climbing a ladder, reaching, not just with your hands, but with your shoulder, really reaching up tall, like we're climbing the ladder. It takes a lot of work to climb the ladder, doesn't it? Maybe we can pretend like we're a bulldozer or a crane. A crane or a bulldozer has a long arm and it reaches down and scoops things up and then picks them back up and drops them somewhere else. Maybe we can try that with the other arm. A big, tall arm, a big, tall crane, reaching down, picking up a load of dirt, and then dropping it somewhere else. Let's try that again, that's fun. Reaching up this arm, scooping down, getting that load of dirt coming up, and dropping it. One more time. A big scoop coming down. Tighten through your tummy and lift. Nice job. Now maybe we can bend over and have big long arms that just sway back and forth. Maybe just like a tree and its branches blowing in the wind. What kind of tree would you like to be? I'd like to be a weeping willow tree. Have you ever seen one of those? They have long, whispery branches that just blow in the wind. That seems like it would be so much fun, wouldn't it? Nice, moving back and forth, maybe Pulling back up again. Maybe this time, reaching one arm up to the sky. Maybe we could pretend like we're a train conductor. And we pull the horn. Toot, toot. Let's do that with the other arm. Reach up. Pull the horn. Toot, toot. Feel the muscles in your arm. Just think how strong that train conductor's muscles must be. Let's do that again. Reach up. Toot, toot. Again. Pull it hard. Toot, toot. Let's do the other side. Lift, reach, stretch. Toot, toot. And last time. Lift. Toot, toot. One more. Lift. Toot, toot. Great job. Can you bring your arms way up high? Nice, and then just flop down like a rag doll. Have you ever thought maybe it'd be kind of fun just to be a rag doll? Just able to sit and flop around. That feels good, doesn't it? When we tighten our tummy and just allow our arms to just flow back and forth. Let's see if we can come back down to the ground. We'll start off with our knees underneath our hips and our hands underneath our shoulders again. Now this time, see if you can lengthen through one leg, one long leg behind you, and then the other leg. Now this is called a plank. It's hard for you to be in a big plank pose like this with your legs up. You can set your knees down, that's okay. Either way, let's pretend like we're a bridge, a nice long bridge. Do you know what bridges do? They lift up to allow the boats to go through. Can you lift up? This is called downward dog. But here, we're gonna pretend like we're a bridge lifting up. Let's do that again. Be the bridge. 
And then what does the bridge do? Lifts up. Tells the boats, go on by. Wouldn't that be fun to watch the boats go by all of the time? So we could be that long, strong bridge. And then when the boats come, lift on up. Let's do that one more time. That's fun. Flow back. Be the bridge. Uh-oh, here comes a boat. Lifting up. That is so much fun to be a bridge. Now, see if you can walk your feet up close to your hands. Now, I want you to take one of your legs and bring it behind you. Lift one of your arms up and let the other arm just relax down here beside your front foot. What do you think we could be now? I know, a shape. Do you like shapes? My favorite shape is a triangle. And that's what we look like here, a triangle that has three points. One, two, three. A triangle. That's fun. Maybe we should try this on the other side. Let's just spin around. Now this front foot, the toes are facing out. The back foot, they're facing forward. And then we lift that arm up high and let the other arm dangle. That's fun, isn't it, to just dangle. So once again, we're a triangle. It's so fun to pretend to be a shape, isn't it? I like being a triangle, do you? Don't forget, triangles have three points. One, two, three. Triangle. Now, if I bring my arm that's way up here high, if I bring it down to my foot, bring your hands to the inside and stretch that back leg way behind you. What do you think we are now? How about a lizard? In yoga, we call this lizard pose. Wouldn't it be fun to pretend to be like a lizard? Lizards just kind of sit and look all around. They have big eyes, don't they? Sometimes they get really relaxed and they come down on their arms. Can you do that? If you can't, no worries. You can be a tall lizard if you want. Remember, we're pretending. You can pretend to be whatever you want. It's fun to be a lizard, isn't it? And it's great to stretch our legs here. Stretching makes us strong and more flexible. Let's do the other side. So turn around. And now, that leg that was bent, we're gonna make it long and we're gonna bend the other leg. We'll bring our hands to the inside of our leg and we'll stretch that other leg out. Remember, we can be a tall lizard or we can come down. Isn't it fun to pretend? I like pretending to be a lizard. Well, maybe now it's time to bring our legs way out to the front. Long legs that just stretch right out to the side. Whew, it feels good to stretch our legs, doesn't it? Do you have long legs? I do. Maybe you have smaller legs. It's fun either way to stretch our legs and to exercise them. Can you think of something that has long legs that we could pretend to be? Hmm, I know, an ostrich. Did you know that an ostrich is the largest bird in the world? He has really, and she, has very long legs, and I'll bet they like to stretch their legs. 
Let's wiggle our toes. Do you think our ostrich ever wiggles their toe? I'll bet they do. Oh, that feels good. And then let's bring those legs back in. We'll bring the feet together if you can and hold on to them if that feels good. And just allow the legs to flap back and forth. Oh, that feels great, doesn't it? I know what we could pretend to be here. Do you? A moth. A moth. Whew. Wouldn't it be fun to be a moth? Just to fly all around, flapping your wings. That feels great, doesn't it? And so let's come back to crisscross applesauce. And you know, when we're done practicing our yoga, we always find a time to be still. Finding a time to be still is very important because it allows us just to wind down, just to settle. So come with me for a few minutes, close your eyes, and just be still. Maybe we could think of something that we could pretend to be that is still. I know, maybe an owl. I think owls like to just sit in the tree and be still. And I think they like to close their eyes during the day because owls like to stay awake at night. Whew, I'm glad we get to sleep at night. But let's just be still for a moment and close our eyes. Whew, just relax after all of our yoga practice, all of our exercising. Let's just be still. up your eyes. Bring your hands to heart center together. When we say the word namaste, that's kind of like saying hi or goodbye. It's called a salutation. So at the end of our yoga practice, we say namaste. See you next time.